Daddy, why do we hear less about Uranus and Neptune than other planets? Well... Mars, Jupiter, Venus, they're all great, but Uranus and Neptune? Huh? Well... They're both giant gaseous planets mm. just like Jupiter and Saturn, eh? Uh, Is it because they're smaller, further away, much less well-known? Uh, Are they also uh, perhaps less interesting than the others? So, Uranus and Neptune. Uranus is about 1.9 thousand million miles from the Sun and Neptune about 2.5. Do they look the same? In some ways, both their diameters are four times that of the Earth's. So, are they gaseous giants? Yes. They are little giants and they're certainly gaseous as they're made up of 99% hydrogen and helium. Uranus spins on its axis every 15 hours. Neptune does it in 16. I knew it! They're twin sisters! More like second cousins. Let's look at their differences. Discovered in 1781, Uranus appeared to people on Earth as a little green disk, but the probe Voyager 2 in 1986 allowed us to understand it better. There's nothing like seeing it for real. Uranus and Venus are the only planets to spin on their own axes in the opposite direction to the way they orbit the Sun, which takes them 84 Earth years to go round. Even more unusual, look how Uranus turns. It looks like it's got a layer around it. Compared to other planets, yes, but that's not all. Uranus has got five moons which orbit around its equator, the imaginary line that divides the planet in two. Hmm. I'll believe it when I see it. Voyager 2 also discovered some rings, but they're much less important than those on Saturn. Wow! And anything unusual about Cousin Neptune? Well, Neptune's already famous for being the first planet to be discovered by mathematical calculations. At the end of the 18th century, scientists noted that Uranus did not revolve in a perfect circle, meaning an unknown star was affecting its spin. In 1846, Le Verrier calculated the mass and position of this body, so that all they needed to do was point the telescope in the right direction. It was whilst applying Sir Isaac Newton's gravitational laws that they discovered a heavenly body some two and a half thousand million miles from the Earth, Neptune. What? Without looking? Alas, Neptune's far too far from the Earth to observe the structure of its atmosphere, as has been done for Venus, Mars or Jupiter, for example. Hmm, does it have any moons? We know of two, Neredi and Triton. One of the biggest moons in the solar system, which in many ways resembles Pluto. And what if Pluto was an old Neptune moon that's disappeared off into space, eh? Huh? Some people think that, in any case, Triton won't always be one of Neptune's moons because in hundreds of millions of years it'll crash into it. Hmm, lovely fireworks then. So gradually we're starting to learn more about these planets. <laughs> if they weren't so far away, we'd know them better. See ya! Dinner time! Oh, <laughs> I mean, goodbye Earthlings! Why do we hear less about Uranus and Neptune than other planets? They are gaseous planets like Jupiter and Saturn, but they're four times smaller and much further away, so it's very difficult to observe them in great detail, and we don't know much about their atmosphere or temperature. <laughs>